Hello and welcome to the quick start guide with using the Mapton Web SDK. In a few minutes, we'll get you set up on your local environment and interacting with our demo maps. So there are two ways that we can do this. The first and easiest way is by forking our code sandbox template. So let's navigate to the code sandbox section here and click the link. And here you'll be able to find our code sandbox template. So on the right side, there's a preview in the section. In the middle section is your editor. On your left side, you'll be able to navigate your files and directory over here. You could take note in our dependencies. You could see that is already loaded and saved with our mapped in JavaScript package. And last but not least, all you need to do is just fork the sandbox and you have a preset up environment ready to go. So another way to get started is by setting up locally on your environment. So to do this, we're going to be using Vite and TypeScript. If you're not familiar with Vite, it is a local dev server, very simple and straightforward. And TypeScript is what our SDK is written in. So if you're not familiar with TypeScript, I do recommend that you read up a little bit on it. TypeScript allows us to have interfaces and type options, which allow for less room for errors and makes the developer experience nice and smooth. Let's jump in, shall we? So our first step is to create our project. Um, we're going to create our project by using Beat, and I'll show you the setup very shortly. We're going to navigate into our folder. And lastly, we are going to add in our mapped in JavaScript package. So go ahead and give that a copy. We're going to go over to my terminal here and just give that a paste. And so our first step is to set up our project with Beat, which is first selecting a framework. We're going to choose vanilla and second, a variant, which is JavaScript or TypeScript. As I mentioned, we are using TypeScript. So go ahead and click enter. Let it do its magic and amazing. So once you see all this, it means that you've successfully created your environment. Now let's go ahead and open that up in our editor. Cool. So in our editor, we have our default index HTML. And we have a source folder that has a few TypeScript files into it. Um, mainly, we're only going to be using our main TypeScript and index.html. If you look into our package JSON, you'll notice that we do have our mapped in JavaScript package. Amazing. So. Now our second step is modifying our files. We're first gonna update our index.html. So we're gonna give a copy on that, index.html, paste that in. Not much has changed. Basically we have just some general styling that we input in here. And more importantly, we have a div element that has an ID app. This is important because we use this ID to be able to insert our map and render it onto our HTML page. Next, we are going to be modifying our main TypeScript file. So we're going to give that a copy, go over here, main TypeScript, delete all that, paste in the good stuff. And there you have it. Just do a save. I'll go line by line really quickly. So first we import our functions, which is get venue, show venue, and t get venue options. This is an interface in TypeScript that allows you to make sure that you're getting all the properties that we need to be able to call get venue or show venue. So our get venue options, we have our venue, our client ID and secret. You can find this on our docs. This is our trial API IDs and secrets. So feel free to use it. And in our init function, we have our venue, which we are calling get venue with the options that we have here. And we have the map view, which loads in our map on our element app which is on our HTML page. Nice. Last but not least, and the most funnest part, let's run our project. So simply yarn run dev in your directory. So yarn run dev. And there you have it. We started our v local server. We're going to jump to our local server here. And now we are at our local server. This is coming from our environment. Right click to pan, tilt, and zoom, and your left click to navigate around the map. And that's it. 
For next steps, you could take a look at our developer docs platform. On the left side, you'll have a whole bunch of options. You have your guides here that will walk you through on different features. We have the API reference docs on our latest. We also have a playground where you could check out all the different features and options that you could do for your map and you get code samples, which is really cool. Last but not least, be sure to check out our gallery. We have a bunch of use cases that can apply to different sectors, different things for your maps. And yeah, thanks for watching. Happy hacking. Bye.